guys, Profe Pablo here with another Minecraft tutorial. Guys, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, this is a cow farm. It's semi-automatic. Cows you can't have fully automatic because you have to hand feed them. But um, it's a cow farm. Let me show you how it works. So uh, we come up here upstairs. And wait for the signal this is my favorite part you wait for it might take it a second okay lights on we heard the noise then we get to feed the cows the cows then drop down the baby cows into this chamber you're gonna lose some of them because of just the way the lava works but a lot of them make it through as you can see and they fall down into the chamber and when they grow up they get cooked in the lava they will not cook the other baby cows with them just the adult cows and you get lots of meat lots of leather and then you wait for the signal again after you feed them all you have to do is wait for the signal there we go and then you can do it again feed them again Guys, this farm is one of my favorite things that I built. Now, I did get uh, some of these designs from Waddles, like the idea of having uh, cows up here and they drop down baby cows. I just added a way for them to get cooked automatically. Obviously, I've added some decorations to this build. Uh, we'll be focusing more on the structure itself and not the decorations. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get on to the build. Okay guys, the first thing you'll want to do is go ahead and mark off a space that is 21 deep and 11 blocks wide. Uh, make sure that you have enough space for this build. Uh, if not, you can build a platform like I did. Uh, you'll just need to make sure that you have enough blocks for that. The first thing I want you to do is count one block in and on the second row of blocks and the third row of blocks, go ahead and break off a little bit. Now this this does have practical purposes, but uh, what we're essentially making here is a pool for you to fall into from the top of your build. Now because I'm making it in the ocean, <laughs> I'm actually going to go ahead and add a floor and then fill in this top part with water. Okay, as you can see, I've made a floor. Now I just need to fill that in with water and this actually works well because it can also serve as a double purpose for your infinite water source. Once all the water is still, you know you have an infinite water source. After the pool, uh, come two blocks back and place down a chest. Okay, I'm now realizing my platform is not symmetrical. I made it 12 blocks long and that is going to drive me crazy. Okay, now my platform is symmetrical into this chest we are going to place five hoppers crouch and place the first one in the back and then two coming out the side going into each other and two more going out the side here going into each other okay i'm going to make my actual build a different color than the blocks underneath so i'm going to start building a platform around these hoppers Okay, after you've covered the outside edge of the hoppers, it's time to switch over temporarily to glass. Place the glass two blocks high, all the way around. You even need to place it over the chest. Now, inside here, you're going to need to place a button uh, underneath everywhere you want lava, which I want lava in three spots. One, two, three, and then come up a row and place a button in between those slots. From there, you need three buckets of lava and place one, two, three. If you want to place the lava in at the end so that you don't accidentally die, that is completely understandable. 
Okay, now you are going to build a platform off the back of this. It is going to be eight long. And it is going to be as wide as the glass. Okay, go ahead and make walls on that platform three blocks high. Okay, and then you'll need three buckets of water and place one on every other block on this back wall. You'll know you measured right if the water comes right up here to the edge. If it goes too far, it's too short. If it doesn't reach, it's too long. Then come up here and add another row onto this wall. And then put a row of blocks beside it. Do the same thing on this other side. Now, you're going to leave a gap and do one more row right down the middle, and there's going to be a gap on both sides of that middle piece. Okay, now we are actually going to bring these walls out to the front. So you end up with something that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and put a row here. Now this part can be tricky, especially if you're on survival and there's lava everywhere, which is why you might want to wait for the lava. Um, but you have to make a column that goes up of glass so that the cabs don't fall straight into the lava. You could do it like that. You don't even need that top one. You could just make it like that. Um, but it does need to be on each piece of lava. Okay, <laughs> don't do what I just did, which was accidentally cover up my lava with glass. There we go. So you can place a temporary block behind that build up, temporary block, build up. Okay, and then I finish off this front wall with glass. Okay, you should have something that looks like this. Uh, if you think that these side walls look better with block, you're welcome to do that. I might change that at the very end. Now it's time to start the breeding floor. For this, you will need any kind of trap door. Point towards that middle row and place trap doors all the way to the back. There should be seven of them. Come over to this side. Do seven more. Okay, should look like that. And then you will place a piece of glass right here. Go ahead and fill in these back two gaps so that this wall is even. Place a temporary block and run glass all the way over the redstone. This is eventually going to be the breeding floor. I like having glass so that I can see what's going on underneath, but you could make this part a solid block if you wanted to. From there, you need stairs of your choice. You're going to place those on the bottom half of these glass blocks. Put one for each trapdoor. The stairs just add more space to the breeding floor and still make it easy to feed the cows. From here, go ahead and build up the sides here, the walls, three blocks high. And you can build walls in front of this section as well. Okay, and before we put cows in here, we're going to work on a redstone wiring. 
So break this. Now you could put a lever right there. Uh, this would need to be a solid block, so let's make that a solid block. And if you put a lever right there, it activates the trap doors. Now the trap doors are for this purpose. When we bring cows in here, we're only going to bring in two per side. And your first few times of breeding them, you will want to fill up these sides with more cows. So you leave these trap doors shut so that your, your baby cows don't go into the kill chamber. They stay up here and become adult cows. When you're ready to start harvesting from this farm, you flip the switch. Now, I don't like having a lever right in the middle of the floor. So I'm going to do something a little different to make it get on the wall. To make the lever be on the wall, I'm going to place a glass block because redstone can go through glass block. Put redstone dust here. Then I'm going to come over here, put some redstone dust down, put a glass block here, put some redstone dust down, put a solid block here, and put a lever. Now, if you do do it this way, uh, I would highly suggest building another uh, wall here just to kind of close up the redstone, make it look good. Okay, before we do anything else, we need to bring in cows. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, what you will need to do is build temporary stairs that come all the way down To wherever your cows are going to be. Grab some wheat and hope that the cows follow you. They should. My fear is that they're going to do that and fall off. Come on, guys. Come on. Probably best to just try and do one at a time. Okay, make sure that they come down here. And if you need to, you just nudge them till they fall in that hole. Okay, once you have two adult cows on either side, you can go ahead and break your temporary stairs if you want to, or you can save that and break it at the end. I'm going to break mine now. Okay, you do not want to be falling down in there with the cows, so I suggest grabbing some slabs and placing those right here at the same level as the roof so that you don't fall in. Put those on top of both places where the cows are. You won't be able to put one here because of the redstone. Okay, also if I were you, I would go ahead and start feeding your cows as you're finishing the build. And that way they go ahead and start breeding. Make sure your trap doors are shut. Okay, you almost have a fully functioning farm here. Uh, go ahead and let's uh, make the roof. So to make the roof, you can go ahead and make a row of blocks right here on top of the slabs. What you do to one side, do to the other. And then I'm actually making this kind of a triangle roof. So you just bring one more row in and up. Go ahead and cover this top part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it, and then we're actually gonna go back and uh, break these blocks later. Go ahead and fill in the walls. I'm leaving a gap here for a door, and a gap here for a door on this side as well. So as of right now, your cow farm is basically done. It's functional. Uh, you can feed your cows whenever you want. They will make baby cows. As soon as you have enough adult cows up here, you can open up the trap doors using the lever, and they will fall down into this kill chamber and eventually be cooked and fill this up with meat. But the beauty of this farm is the timer that tells you when to feed the cows. So we're going to go ahead and make that. 
Now what I'm doing for mine is the same level as the kill chamber. I am adding a, basically another story here. I'm gonna bring it all the way back and all the way back to this very back ledge. Now I'm going to fill that in and I'm going to bring the build out to the ledge um, horizontally as well on this side, making this too wide. What I do to one side, I'm doing to the other. Okay, let me run around so you can see what that looks like. Now it's time for the repeater clock. On this back wall, I want you to put a piece of redstone right there. Next to that redstone. On this corner right here of this back wall, I want you to put a block that goes into that redstone. Now you will need a sticky piston right here going into the block and then skip a block and then put another sticky piston right here facing towards the redstone. Uh, place a hopper down uh, and then crouch and place a hopper into it. Break that hopper and place a hopper going back into that hopper. This is a redstone hopper clock. From there, you will need a comparator, a repeater, and then redstone dust coming around back in to this sticky piston. Do the same thing on the other side. Comparator, repeater, redstone dust coming back into the sticky piston. Now all you need is a stack of any items that you want. We'll use a stack of glass blocks and some redstone. You need 23. That will make this timer run at a minute and 10 seconds. So every minute and 10 seconds, it will activate this piece of redstone dust. Okay, now we are going to take this signal vertical. You will place a block after this redstone and then place another block, a break here, break here so that every other block there's a gap. And then you're going to put a redstone torch in each one of those gaps. Good, now over here, place a block and a block on top of that block. So this block is powered. And here we are going to extend the signal a little more. Now, this is where it gets tricky. You are going to break this row. All the way to the edge. In every other slot, place a redstone lamp. And then from there, you're actually going to place note blocks. Now, depending on the block that is underneath, the note block will make a different sound. I'll use Lappy's Lazul blocks and that will give the blocks a certain sound. From there, you place a note block on top of each one of those. And then a redstone repeater going from this block on top of each one of the redstone lamps. Now to actually power the redstone lamps, you also need to run redstone along the side of each one of them. Just like that. Now you get to choose if you want to tune these blocks. I tune mine to a chord usually, but if you press them, they change the notes that you do. I'll just leave them all the same for now. Okay, now you need a way up 
to get in. So I'm going to build a ledge here. And bring this down here. Build a ladder up this column, which you might have already done if you're in survival. Then I'm going to place a door here. A door on this side. And uh, you'll notice you can jump down here and even jump down here and land in the water so you don't get hurt. Uh, you are going to need a way up to the second story. So I'm going to place a column here. I might move that in a little bit. And now I have a way to get up here to the second story and a way to get up to the third story. Okay guys, I actually ran into a redstone problem as I was testing this out. Uh, the And this didn't happen on my other farms. So I think I ran the torches one block further back. But uh, to eliminate this problem, just break the redstone here, put a block here so it doesn't create a loop. Otherwise your lights won't turn off and on. But now if you add this one extra block so that um, this redstone can't connect back up, it will work just fine turning off and on. Uh, the only other thing I would add to this is come over here and I would create a kind of service store down here just in case if any baby cows get stuck or anything, you can come over here and tease them with some wheat. Uh, then they'll kind of jump back here and get pushed down. So again, all you have to do now is feed your cows until they create more and more adult cows every time your uh, indicator light and noise come on. And then once you have enough cows up top, you flip the switch, open the trap doors, and baby cows will start falling down into the kill chamber where they will grow up and eventually make meat. Now, this thing that we're looking at right now is not pretty but it's functional. I'm going to go through and on fast motion, make this um, look better. And you're welcome to stick around and watch me do that until the very end. And I hope uh, that you guys enjoyed this video.
Okay, guys, that is the finished product uh, for the cow farm. I just added some designs. Uh, by the way, these fish are spawning on their own. I think it's because I'm out in the ocean. Uh, but that's really funny. Nice decorative touch. Um, back here, uh, in my other builds, I've had more space because I haven't had, I didn't build a, it on a platform. I built it on land. Uh, and so back here, you can use this space. Um, I built a little micro wheat farm back here uh, so that I didn't have to run all the way to another farm to feed the cows. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this design. Thanks for watching another episode of Profit Plays Minecraft.